everyone. So I was just trying to do a live stream and I'm very sorry it was cutting out constantly. I don't know what that was like on your end, but on my end, the screen just kept going black. It kept giving me the swirlies and just, and then I had to keep clicking the screen to reconnect. It was awful. So, um, it was really fun being live and I really love that Kurt gave me a $25 tip and I couldn't uh, put the bandana on like what he wanted but but it was great to get that and um, and to hear some feedback about there's like fast drying spray for the nails I'll have to try that out but yeah and I don't know I have no idea how much of what I was telling you guys got through or not and oh and I can't um when I'm doing a video like this I can't reverse the camera unfortunately so but I will try to show you my current foot setup I won't know if you guys are seeing it but in his 
life and Javi admits that he desires to commit necrophilia and Javi, wait did I say Javi? Ivan. Ivan desires it and then Javi is just like, dude, you guys, what the fuck? Let's just go to the party. You guys are fucking nuts. But Paolo's all excited. Paolo's already committed necrophilia and he's excited to share it with someone else who's interested in his fetish. So they do that and while they're doing that, the actress wakes up and she can't move, blah blah blah. The two rapists are terrified that they're gonna that she's going to speak up about their crime and that they're gonna be in jail for the rest of their lives and their reputation's ruined because she's a famous actress, so uh, that um, it's gonna be all over the news, everywhere. They're gonna, like, everyone, everyone is gonna know what they did. And so, of course, I mean, it's, of course, they wanna kill her. I mean, because she was already dead before as far as anyone knows. So it's kind of like just back to square one if they kill her. But Javi is the good guy and he's like, guys, no, she needs to live. She's alive and they don't, she doesn't know that you guys raped her because she was like dead and she doesn't know what's going on. She can't move, she can't talk. So, but then they just end up killing Javi, of course. There's a little more, you know, story behind that. How they, like, you know, they get in a fight, a fist fight, and it accidentally gets a little more violent than intended, but... And then there's something like... It's unclear. I didn't really get this from the recap if the friend, if Ivan intentionally killed him when at some point later or not. Anyway, anyway, they, they kill Javi. They dispose of his body in the yellow bins that were mentioned earlier with the, that contain human waste. Possibly suggesting that Paolo has killed before and put dead bodies in those bins because he did not want them to look inside those bins. I mean, I think you wouldn't want to look upon human waste anyway, but maybe he had secrets in there. So they kill him and then they agree to try to kill, well, to suffocate Anna Fritz. They do that and then they put her body, um, like she pees herself and then they have to clean, they have to clean all of that. Some orderlies come in and there's like some drama about getting caught and then they put her body away everything seems to be okay they get off they get off um, they go down into the um, to exit Paolo finds out that Anna is not actually dead but he is just going to keep that a secret from Ivan because he didn't really want to kill her. He doesn't want to be that evil. He's just a necrophiliast. So, so yeah, he tries to hide it from Ivan and they try to just leave. But then Ivan forgot some stupid thing and he insists that he has to go back and get this thing. So they do and then Anna kills them both. That was it. <laughs> yeah, end of story. All right, so then the next movie recap I watched, what was it? Ooh, I really want to watch this one. I think it was a Chilean movie. It was about a woman who dresses up to be unattractive. She puts a fat suit on and dentures with like a gap in the teeth and like a wig to have shorter hair. His short hair is so ugly. Um, but basically, she needs to be unrecognizable. Uh, she's all frumpy, and she says that she's married with two kids. 
she befriends a seeming, as far as I can tell from the recap, he's a pretty charming priest. I thought he was going to become a creep like everyone else in her former life as a beautiful woman, but it didn't go there, and that, that was nice. They, he just, he jokes about how she could always just shoot a guy's dick off if, if, uh, guy displeases her. So I think the priest might be a good guy, even though it's kind of funny they, she a asks him to have access to two young boys and he provides her with them. <laughs> Which is funny. Uh, I really want to watch this movie. The recap was good, but yeah, I felt like it, I felt like there was probably some good details and, and it would be worth it to watch the movie. Hopefully, I hope it wouldn't be too cheesy or something, but, but I have, many times I have thought about wearing a prosthetic nose or chin or adding wrinkles and like a gray, gray haired wig. And uh, I've thought about getting a pregnancy belly. Just, um, I'm not sure why pregnancy belly instead of just simply a fat suit. I didn't really think about it. visually 
appealing. So you don't really actually want ugly people, although ugly men are everywhere in movies. She's really not that ugly. They make her out to be not, she's still nice looking. Anyway, the story is, and I, oh, in this one I did really did not catch the title of the movie, but there's this womanizer guy who's her coworker and they become friends, which is really unusual for this guy because he just dismisses all women who he doesn't, if he doesn't want to have sex with a woman, if he doesn't find her attractive enough to have sex with, then he doesn't want to have anything to do with her. So, um, so anyway, there's that element to the story. And, but they befriend each other and at night, sometimes at night, she'll take off all of her ugly accessories and look really gorgeous and go, uh, and then she'll go tease him. And she teases, she teases him pretty far. I love that. Teasing is so fun. I really love te teasing. That's so fun. So yeah, I really like, I really want to see this movie so bad. Um, anyway, yeah, so, um, passing by a Bucky's now. Of the live stream I want you guys to see these eyelashes I just got them done yesterday and I'm really in love with the purple do you see it the purple mixed in there so it looks like a really dark purple but in reality Her name 
was Kira, I believe, in Britannia, which is one of my favorite shows. Definitely need to tell you guys about Britannia sometime. But she's she becomes a queen in Britannia. Uh, she's like Pylon's daughter, something. So, yeah. Sorry. I'm basically trying to remember what I was saying in the live stream because I don't know how much of it was cut out and all that. But, yeah. Kira. Britannia is awesome. I really hope you guys watch Britannia. Some of the things I really want you guys to watch. Britannia, the rehearsal, Nathan for you. I mean, I just love Nathan Fielder to death. And Swarm. Vikings. The Last Kingdom. Alright, that's what I'll leave you guys with. But definitely Britannia. Oh, and Pea Pe Valley. Yes. Forget about Vikings and Last Kingdom. Pea Valley, Nathan for You, The Rehearsal, Britannia, and Swarm. Swarm is on Amazon Prime. The Rehearsal is on HBO. Nathan for You is on HBO. And it was on Hulu until just a couple days ago. Um, and Britannia is on Amazon Prime, but like a, a special... Um, it's like on Stars or Epics. Epics, I think. And then what was the other one? I said Pea Valley. And then Pea Valley is on Stars for sure. Yeah, so. The Girlfriend Experience is also on Stars, and that's really good too. All right. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And uh, get ready. Get ready for Mother's Day. It's coming up. Okay. Goodbye from. Pedal Cat and Bebop.